The two-factor theory, developed by psychologist Frederick Hertzberg, explains workplace motivation by identifying two types of factors that influence job satisfaction and dissatisfaction. These factors are motivators and hygiene factors. Motivators, such as recognition, achievement and opportunities for growth, lead to job satisfaction and increased motivation. Hygiene factors such as salary, job security and working conditions do not necessarily increase satisfaction, but can cause dissatisfaction if they are inadequate. According to Hertzberg, improving hygiene factors prevents dissatisfaction, but true motivation and job satisfaction come from motivators. This theory is widely used in organisational psychology to improve employee motivation and job performance. Now let's look at some examples of the two-factor theory in practice. One example of the two-factor theory is a company that provides competitive salaries and safe working conditions, but notices that employees are still unmotivated. This suggests that while hygiene factors prevent dissatisfaction, the absence of motivators like career advancement or recognition prevents employees from feeling truly engaged. Another example is an employee who feels highly satisfied because they receive frequent praise and opportunities for skill development, even though their salary is not the highest in the industry. A third example is when a company improves employee motivation by introducing more challenging tasks and recognition programs, leading to higher job satisfaction despite no change in salary or work hours. Now let's explore some strengths of the two-factor theory. One strength of the two-factor theory is that it helps employers understand that job satisfaction and dissatisfaction are influenced by different factors rather than being opposites of each other. This perspective encourages businesses to focus on increasing motivators rather than only addressing hygiene factors. Another strength is that the theory highlights the importance of intrinsic motivation, showing that employees need opportunities for growth, achievements and recognition to feel fulfilled. Additionally, the two-factor theory provides practical strategies for improving workplace morale, as organisations can design policies that not only prevent dissatisfaction, but also promote engagement and productivity. However, despite its strengths, the theory has some weaknesses. One weakness of the two-factor theory is that it does not account for individual differences in what motivates employees. While some workers may find recognition and personal growth rewarding, others may prioritise salary and job security. Another limitation is that job satisfaction and dissatisfaction are not always separate, as some workplace factors can influence both. For example, a poor salary may cause dissatisfaction, but a significantly higher salary might also serve as a motivator. Additionally, the theory is based on self-reported data from employees, which may lead to biased results since people may attribute positive experiences to internal factors and negative experiences to external conditions. Now let's examine some alternative theories of motivation. One alternative to the two-factor theory is Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which suggests that individuals are motivated by five levels of needs, from basic survival to self-actualization. Unlike Hertzberg's theory, Maslow's model applies to all areas of life, not just the workplace. Another alternative is expectancy theory, which states that employees are motivated when they believe their effort will lead to good performance and rewards. This theory focuses more on the decision-making process behind motivation rather than categorising factors as satisfiers or dissatisfiers. A third alternative is self-determination theory, which emphasises the role of autonomy, competence and relatedness in motivation. While the two-factor theory is useful for workplace motivation, these alternatives provide broader perspectives on what drives human behaviour.